Hi guys, Willow here, and welcome back to another Magic Jewels, or Magic Gathering card game. Um, we're up to part 4 of the first campaign, and uh, this will give us another 40 coins once completing this. Um, but before we do that, we've actually got 200 coins, so I want to see what we can do in the store. Ooh, Starler Box! Okay, let's, let's get that. Boom. And again, you can buy these in real life. Um, I'm not sure how much they are. Uh, depends on what card store you go to, but um, yeah, they're very awesome. All right. Um, time to get started. Here's the starter box. You can use the cards to create a wide variety of decks and explore a number of different playstyles. Okay, let's do it. Is that it? Is that it? No, oh, it's free. Okay, let's go boosters. And get one booster for 150. Wow. Contains six cards. Holy shit! Okay. Sure. How do we get coins? Okay, so you can buy coins for real money, um, which makes sense. Um, okay. Let's buy. Let's buy a booster. Let's do it. Um, yes. Let's buy one of those. Okay. Let's open boosters. Boom. Got a great. Ooh. ooh, got three black cards. Awesome. Okay. Ooh, and that, that's our rare. Legendary creature, human soldier, has flash. You may cast this, um, you may cast this spell anytime you would cast an instant. Um, whenever a creature deals combat damage, if you play, uh, Hyx, Hyxus, Hyxus? Um, Prison Warden enters the battlefield this turn, exile that creature until Hyxus leaves the battlefield. Okay. Um, got some black cards, which is probably the deck that I'm going to build. It's got flying, enchanted creature gets plus two, plus two, um, and has flying. Sacrifice two other creatures to regenerate that card, that's pretty cool. That's a really good enchantment. Alright. Um, sorcery, put target creature from the graveyard into the battlefield under your control, that's pretty cool from a graveyard, so it could be your opponent's graveyard as well, so that's awesome. So they have a real strong creature and, you know, they sacrifice it or, you know, you manage to kill it, you can bring it back from their graveyard and put it onto your side of the field. That's awesome. Um, if there are two or more instants and sorcery cards in your graveyard, that creature enters the battlefield with an additional plus one, plus one counter on it. That's cool. So it ends up being stronger on your side. That's awesome. Um, I love that picture. That's cool. It's like it's a bit. It's dark. It's dark, but it's. You know, I, just, I love the artwork in you know, Magic the Gathering. Um, sacrifice a creature. This creature gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. Pretty nice. So it comes a four, four essentially. Um, fire cards. I don't really care about because I don't. I don't usually like playing fire. Um, I don't know why. It just never really appealed to me. There we go. Um, and green cards I really like as well. So whenever this card comes to the battlefield, target creature gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. So that's really awesome. Um, Alright. Hey, zoom out. Alright. Um, so I can go to my card collection. Wow. Okay, so they're greyed out, so I guess that's the ones that, yeah. So they don't have lock pictures or locks on them. So they're the ones I don't have. Um, I just, I just want to see shown cards. There we go. So these are all the ones I do have. So we've got a lot of white cards. And they're all new. Because this is probably from my, um, oops. Um, from my booster box that I got. Uh, blue cards, again, don't really care about. Never really liked blue. Uh, black cards I really like. Or swamp. Swamp, swamp's one of my favourite. Um, so we got, wait, we'll go back to start. So we got... Planes, so like fields, planes, or what's called planes cards, which are the which is the white cards. We've got um, uh, water, or, or island, as the their land is called, is the islands card, which is blue water. Uh, we've got swamp, which is the skull and the the black cards. Uh, we've got mountains, which is the the red fire cards, and we've got forest, which is the green. Um, tree foresty cards, which is cool. So I usually go either black white or black green, because um, they're really really cool. Oh, and we got some artifacts and stuff like that too. Um, 
yeah, I'm not going to go through all these because there's too many of them. Um, but I'm sure they're all the same um, if you start playing the game as well. So, yay! Um, I don't want to go to battle mode. I just want to go back to story mode. Let's and let's finish off the campaign. Alrighty, so let's jump straight into it. We've got the part four of the first campaign. Let's jump straight into it. The terrifying Cyclops approaches the main gate. He is not alone. You and your irregulars are the only ones who can stop the monsters from storming the city. Fail to defeat them and Akaros Ar will fall. Succeed and you'll become heroes worthy of the gods. Damn right. Worthy of the gods already. I don't have to prove myself to no one. <laughs> Enchantments are powerful cards that stay on the battlefield after you cast them. They have a wide range of effects. Some boost your creatures, while others make things more difficult for your opponent. Like most spells, you cast enchantment spells during your main phase. Alrighty. So we're learning about enchantments now. Um, so yeah, basically there's, they have different effects and they just stay on the field and always, um, you know, always do whatever this, the card says. So they're pretty cool. In this skill quest, use the enchantment in your hand to win the game this turn. Cool. Uh, white creatures you control get plus one, plus one. The most basic <laughs> enchantment I've ever seen. <laughs> okay, so I have a lot of two twos. Play this, they all become three threes. Sweet. Attack phase, attack with all. Boom. Confirm attack. Confirm. There we go. Cool, they get blocked. All good. I'm still gonna win. Boom, you're dead. Boom, you're dead. Boom, you're dead. And... Dead. Great job! Enchantments are powerful because their effects last as long as they're on the battlefield. Sweet. Um, so yeah, they can be removed as well um, by... Uh, the opponents, enchantments, spells, instances, uh, instance cards, um, or, or creature effects, you know, they can be destroyed, so, yeah. ...are a special type of enchantment. Most attached to a single creature, and affect only that creature. The enchant ability will tell you what that aura attaches to. You can target any creature with most auras, Read each one to see how it affects the enchanted creature. If it has a negative effect, you can choose to attach it to one of your opponent's creatures. If the enchanted creature leaves the battlefield, the aura is put into your graveyard. Okay, so basically, this enchantment, instead of just being a general enchantment on your field, it's attached to a specific creature. Um, and depending on that card's effects, will differently affect the creature. So let's see what, what we got to here. To complete this skill quest, find a way to win this turn. You'll need to use both positive and negative auras to get the job done. Alrighty. Wow, I've got a 1-1. One, one. Awesome. <laughs> a 1-1 one, one creature going up against these guys. Okay. So enchant creature, en enchanted creature gets plus one plus one for each planes you control and has flying. Holy crap! That is awesome. <laughs> um, so I have six planes, so I will en definitely enchant my dude. Boom. So he should become a seven seven. Yeah, buddy, and has flying, and he's that's the only card that has flying. I like how it floats when they have flying. It's pretty cool. Um, enchant creature, enchant creature can't block or attack. Oh, I wonder what I'm going to use that one for. <laughs> On their flying creature, so it can't block my flying creature. And then I'll attack. Attack. There we go. And confirm attack. And boom, you can't do anything. Destroyed. Well done. One popular strategy is to use auras to make a massive threat to dominate the battlefield. Yes, I, I quite like using auras and stuff like that on my creatures. Just buff the absolute crap out of them and, you know, they become too strong and the opponent can't do anything. That's 
generally how my deck rolls. So. <laughs> Some cards put plus one plus one counters on creatures. A plus one plus one counter increases the creature's power and toughness by one. These counters stay on the creature as long as the creature is on the battlefield. If the creature leaves the battlefield, the counters disappear. Counters are pretty self-explanatory. Um, yeah, depending on the card, it tells you what type of counter it will be, and yeah, they're, they're pretty self-explanatory. In this skill quest, your opponent is about to create a massive army and obliterate you. Win this turn before that happens. Okay, so you want to beat him um, by a land, why not? Because we can. You can only play one land a turn, by the way. Um, Alright, oops. I'll zoom in on this. Uh, has flying whenever supply lane crane enters the battlefield, put a 1 1 counter on target creature. Okay, cool. Let's play that. And they're both the same, so I'll just put a counter on you. Cool, so now it's 3 3. That's my attack phase. I can't do anything else, so we'll just attack with all. Confirm attack. But it can be. Can... Oh, they're all tapped, so that's fine. So you won't be able to block my attacks. Do three damage, and then do another two with my other go. There you go. Hey, he wasn't a threat at all. I don't know what they Very were talking nice. about. <laughs> Some decks are based on casting a creature and piling on plus one plus one counters until it's an unstoppable force. Try it sometime. That's mainly from what I've I've in my experience. Um, red decks are like that. They're called um, they're called uh, token decks. So pretty much every spell or every creature that they have um, one one counters on things and just grows and grows and grows and um, becomes like a swarm of um, swarm of bad guys. Uh, the most classic one um, in my experience has been uh, red goblin decks. Um, and goblins just end up multiplying and multiplying and multiplying and end up zerging the opponent and absolutely destroying them. Um, so yeah, very hard to very hard to deal with um, if you can't deal with it fast. 